Well, originally I, I um, spoke to a laboratory group when I was on a chemistry conference and they, they said that um, the thing they looked for most in students was the ability to work in teams. And I ended up taking that further and looking at student attitudes and teams and I did my PhD on that. I then won an e-fellowship and that was based on a project where we looked at students working in teams um, from a number of schools within our cluster. There are eight schools within the cluster. So we took the gifted and talented kids out of each school. There's three kids from each school. They went completely out of their science program and they worked on their own, these little teams, on a problem-based approach. So for biology, we went to Goat Island up past Auckland and we just went to go and see all the fishes in like the marine sanctuary and area. Snorkeling and, and stuff. Snorkeling. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then for um, chemistry, we went caving. Um, oh, gliding for physics, yeah. that was cool. And um, AUT for like learning about the body and yeah. that was just like breathing and... Lots Muscles, of, yeah. fibres and stuff, yeah, that's cool. Because um, you don't just get given a question and then get given the answer, you have to figure it out for yourself and then you get to present it in your own way, which helps you to remember. Yeah. And then you get to go out and experience what you've learnt and it just makes everything sink in a little bit deeper that what you're actually doing has stuff to do with what's outside and around you. They have to be able to work in teams, they have to be able to access existing knowledge tie it together, see what new knowledge they need to create or skills they need to create and use that in order to solve a particular problem they might be faced with. It doesn't matter what discipline you're in, it's just the same. And that's what we need to train our kids to do for, for this century.